Sulfuric acid is a very valuable chemical. It is used in the manufacture of detergents, dyes, fabrics, fertilizers, paints and plastics and in many other products. But how is sulfuric acid made? Sulfuric acid is made in a three stage process called the contact process. In stage one, sulfur is obtained in its elemental form, a solid, it is melted and is then combusted in oxygen. What do you think is formed at this stage? Could you write a chemical equation for this? Pause, think and continue when you're ready. The product formed at this stage is sulphur dioxide and the chemical equation for this is shown. Did you get it right? In stage 2, the sulphur dioxide is converted into sulphur trioxide. The reaction is in equilibrium, which means that as the product is formed, the reverse reaction can also occur and it can break down into its reactants. What can be done to this process to speed it up and to force the equilibrium into forming more sulphur trioxide? Pause the video and continue when ready. This reaction can be sped up to form sulphur trioxide by adding a catalyst, vanadium oxide. This is an exothermic reaction, which means it gives out heat. Usually, this means that the formation of sulphur dioxide, the backward reaction, would be favoured at higher temperatures. However, the catalyst needs a temperature over 400 degrees centigrade for it to work, so the idea is a trade-off. The reaction actually takes place at 450 degrees centigrade. You need the gases to reach equilibrium within the very short time that they are in contact with the catalyst in the reactor. So having an increased temperature ensures a high rate of reaction, meaning you establish the forward reaction quickly. Finally, in stage 3, sulphur trioxide is converted into a very concentrated sulfuric acid, and the equation is shown now. This liquid is also known as oleum. It is very viscous and releases acidic fumes. It is very important at this stage to add water carefully, usually as a mist to sulphur trioxide. This is because the reaction is very exothermic, so mixing it with pure water would release a mist of sulfuric acid that would escape into the air. 99.5% pure sulfuric acid is then collected and is shipped off to where it is needed next. There are some acidic waste gases from stage 3 which can escape and cause local acid rain. Here's a challenge for you. What can you fit the chimney with to stop these gases from being released into the atmosphere? The correct answer is that the chimney is usually fitted with acidic scrubbers. These are bases like sodium carbonate. On contact they neutralize the fumes forming salt and water. Other ways to minimize the release of any sulfur oxides is by recycling gases between stages two and three. In summary, the contact process converts sulfur to sulfur dioxide by combusting sulfur in air. The sulfur dioxide produced is heated to 450 degrees centigrade over a vanadium oxide catalyst. This produces sulfur trioxide. The sulfur trioxide is treated with a fine mist of water and 99.5% sulfuric acid is collected. The acidic fumes produced are treated with acidic scrubbers to prevent local acid rain.